Steve Elliott, Toke of the Town. Actually, I should call him just Joke of the Town. Steve Elliott. Yesterday, he posted a inflammatory, libelous, misogynist blog on his website, Joke of the Town, run by a major corporation um, called The Village Voice. Village Voice? Get rid of this guy, because I'm asking all the activists out there, boycott Village Voice, boycott all their sponsors, boycott Joke of the Town, Steve Elliott, until Steve Elliott gives a public apology to Jody Emery and Mark Emery. Jody Emery, he, he called her a trophy wife. That's what Steve Elliott called Jody, Murphy, uh, Jody Emery yesterday. Uh, Jody Emery, who's a real activist, who does uh, get things done? Who talks to politicians? Who does have who does have influence? Jody Emery um, was called a trophy wife. As simply, that's her only contribution in life. You got to be kidding me. Steve Elliott is a joke, and, and joke of the town. Uh, he also he even went further. He, he this is this is quote. I'm reading this. Mark Emery, you are a deeply clueless tool. You either have no idea what you are talking about or you have sold out to law enforcement. Not surprising since they have you in a cage. That is just the most disgusting piece of what some people might want to call journalism I've ever seen in my life. It's not journalism. It's, it's totally being a scumbag. And, and that's what I'm going to call Elliot. This guy has gone way over the edge. He needs to publicly apologize to Jody and Mark Emery. Mark Emery is giving the ultimate sacrifice to this movement. The, the man is sitting in jail, five years in federal U.S. jail for this movement. What, what has Steve Elliott contributed to this movement besides bullshit? Besides people, you know, attacking people in the movement? You know, he, he wants to pretend that, uh, that Mark Emery is sold out to law enforcement. I, I'm calling that Steve Elliott could be working for law enforcement. Based on these actions, I wonder. I don't have any worries of what wonders about Mark and Jody Emery. I know that they're, you know, whether I agree with them or not, their heart is in the right place. I have no doubts, no questions on that. I have a lot of questions about Steve Elliott at this point. Steve Elliott, to me, not trustworthy, not a journalist. All he is is a hate-filled, and and I'm gonna wonder: Is he a narc? Let's call let's call him what he called Mark Emery. Let's call him a narc because that is the behavior that he's he's taken. Um, Mark Emery's in jail right now. Calling him a narc with no proof, no evidence that that puts Mark's life at risk in prison. Do you realize how serious this is? I've had someone do that to me that was really close. It's unforgivable. Without a public apology, it's unforgivable. As far as I'm concerned, Steve Elliott is a narc, and I'm going to call him a narc until he apologizes publicly to Jody and Mark Emery. Um, he, Russ Belleville called him out because he didn't agree with uh, what what this Steve Elliott is saying about uh, the proposition in, 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 uh, in Washington State. I don't even care about that. I don't even want to get into it. I am just disgusted by the personal attacks of Steve Elliott. They continue, they, you, you see it every day on this guy's Facebook page. You folks who support him, who subscri subscribe to him, better check your head. Unsubscribe, boycott, let the Village Voice know that you're not putting up with it. Mickey Martin, you, you, you're disgusting me too, that you defend this, that you're defending this. This is disgusting. You should all be ashamed. Anyone that supports Steve Elliott at this point, after you've read this, disgusting. Um, you know, Steve Elliott pretends to support the work of Peter McWilliams, someone who, 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 who gave his life fighting the federal government. He, he was going to jail. He was under the thumb of the federal government, just like who? Just like Mark Emery. I think Peter McWilliams, if you were alive today, I don't like to speak for anyone that's not alive, but I feel personally that Peter McWilliams, looking down at this, would be totally disgusted to have someone like Steve Elliott supposedly supporting. I'm wearing this shirt today. Peter McWilliams. I'm disgusted. Disgusted by Steve Elliott. I want a public apology to Mark and Jody Emery. If I don't see it, then, then I'm not going to stop calling this guy what he is. He's a knock.
Hmm, look who I'm calling, the village voice. Hi, Kathy. Um, I'm calling to uh, register a complaint about uh, one of the writers of a blog uh, through Village Voice. Okay. Okay. Man, man, okay, thank you. Hi Susan, my name is Mike Can. I'm calling from Boston, Mass, and I am calling to register a complaint um, about a blogger, writer, uh, called Steve Elliott on Toka the Town and some of the comments he made in his recent article um, that uh, basically maligned some misogynist comments against a well-known activist in the cannabis reform com community named Jody Emery, and also some libelous statements that I really feel could put someone's life at risk, a prisoner named Mark Emery, who's uh, one of the most well-known activists in uh, North America for uh, cannabis reform. I find his comments totally without any jur journalistic standard. I'm actually a reporter as well. Um, I have a radio show at unregularradio.com, Two Hotheads, where activism happens. I'm disgusted, and I am ready to start a boycott of the vo Village Voice unless I get a phone call back, and, and all your sponsors. I, I, th I think that uh, Mr. Elliott really needs to be checked. I think that his behavior is really out of line. And I feel it's misogynist, it's libelous, it's inflammatory. There's no need of it. And uh, I, I want to let the Village Voice know. I want to make sure that my complaint is recorded. And I, and I would like a call back or to talk to someone that uh, could actually take some action on this and, and take my full complaint. My telephone number is 9...